Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I will show you how you can import affiliate product from Etsy to your WordPress shop. To do this you need to have WordPress already installed, you need to have WooCommerce plugin as well installed and then you need to install our plugin. To do this you need to go to plugin section here, you need to click add new plugin, here write shark, drop ship. Search so I have double R here, and you install the following one. I have already installed the plugin, so once you click install and activate, you will have this plugin here. Once the plugin is installed, you will be on this home page here, and this page actually normally should display all the uh, products that you have already imported. So, to import product from Etsy, you go to this place here. And then you have this page. It is a very simple page. It consists of input URL that where you will paste the URL from Etsy and the language that you want to select. So you go to Etsy and here I want to mention something. So Etsy today provides two types of products. Simple products and what we call variable products. For example, if you open products as you can see here, this is what we call a simple product. It has no variation, so no specification, nothing at all. For example, this one is variable product. So as you can see here, it has possible options and each option will have different price. Okay, so I will start to make the demo with simple product. So this is simple product. We will copy the URL from here. We will go back to our plugin. We will paste it. We will choose the language. For now, we will select English and we will click on import. So once you click on import, you will have this model displayed here and different tabs. We will start with the general tab here and you will have two options. So affiliate product and dropshipping product. What is the difference between the two? So affiliate product is what we are trying to test today and if you import the product as affiliate product your customer when you click on buy button you will be redirected to Etsy and then if you purchase the product you will get a commission from Etsy. How does this work? So you need first of all to apply for affiliate program for Etsy. So affiliate Etsy program. Maybe on another video I will show you how to subscribe to this program. Once you are installed, you will have access to the dashboard where you can generate affiliate links. So normally it is a normal link with additional parameters at the end, like your campaign ID, your affiliate ID and all that stuff. So you have URL, you come back to the plugin, you paste the URL of the product here, the affiliate link, and then you go to the next section which is the title, you can change the title, you can write whatever you want, For example, test, you can set the price, the regular price, the sale price, this is the SKU, it's good not to touch it because it's the unique identifier of the product, here you have the short description, you can write whatever you want, for testing purpose I will copy the value many times, you can publish the product, if not selected the product will be drafts and they can also set the product as featured product. Then you will have two sections here and both are for categories. So the section below is the categories that belongs to your WordPress. You can select to which category you want to import the product to and from here as well there are the categories from the product on Etsy. So the product belongs probably to many categories, you can select some of them. Once you have selected some of them, this category will be created and will belong on the future to your WooCommerce store and the product will belong to all the selected categories in both sections. We go now to the next section. So the next section is the description. Here we have a full editor. You can edit the description. You can make many changes here. You can style the description. You can also this is an important feature, so you can import images from gallery. So by selecting this, it imports some picture. Okay, yeah, it imports some picture here, but it imports with them some other stuff here. So I will remove them and I keep only what I need. It will take maybe some time to remove them. I think they're not a lot, but 
I need to remove them. So you just select and you remove using the keyboard. We need to check why this extra images have been added and where they come from. So normally you are fine. We have all our images. We can still style them. We can create some space. We can use the keyboard to to click to click the space button to click the enter button in order to style your description. Once you are done, you can move to the next section, which is gallery. So the gallery here, you have all the images. You can remove if you want some of the images. Then you have reviews. So by default, we don't import reviews from Etsy because it's not permitted. So Etsy does not allow to import reviews. But you can still you write your own reviews. Perfect product. You can write as many reviews as you want. Then you go to variation. So as I said before, this is a sample product, so there will be nothing on the variation. We will see this tab on the next video uh, and the next type of product that we'll import later on this video. On the specification type tab, normally you will see the specification of product. This product does not have any specification, so there is nothing to, to, to see. You can still add your own specification like store name, you know, store A, and you can add some some more information as well here. Then the tag, this tags belongs to the product and they are actually generated from the URL. You can remove remove them, you can remove some of them, you can add some extra tags if you want. It will be added at the end. Once you are done, you go back to general, you make sure that you select affiliate product type and then you click import. When you click import, you will see a warning, but you'll see then that the product has been inserted. So you open the plugin again and you will be here and you see that we have our first product already imported. It is a draft. It comes from Etsy. It has an ID. This is the ID of the WordPress product. This is the SKU from Etsy. This is the image, the main image. You can click, you can update the product URL if you want to change the supplier. You can edit the product directly on WordPress by clicking this button. We have the product on WordPress. You can modify things. You can open the product URL itself on Etsy. You can preview the product on your shop. So this shop product will looks like this. So you have the title, you have the four reviews that you have created, you have the regular price, you have the sale price, the short description, the buy button, the SKU, the categories, and the tags. You have also the description, so the description is here. You have the specification that you have created and the reviews and when you, your customer click on buy product the user will be redirected to the product page and if he purchase the product Etsy will consider your affiliate ID from the affiliate product and you'll get the commission of this product. So this was f all for simple product now we will go to check a dynamic product a variable product sorry so this is a variable product we will copy the URL we will come back to our import page, we will close this model, we will paste our URL and we will click import. We will have again the same page, so you already know about all of this. There is no need to select anything here because actually we will be working on the variation tab. So you can select categories, you can publish the product, share description, you can manage your description here. You can, uh, you know, add extra description if you want. The gallery is fine. Reviews, you can add some reviews. Just random ones. Then we arrive to variations. So each variation is presented by a line here. So each line of variation can be imported as an affiliate product. This is actually very good because if you want to import all of this product of this variation, you'll have many products and each product will be s similar with some specific uh, details. So for example this variation will have will have for example uh, color and size silver 25m this will be gold this will have the text on back this will have text on front and as you can see they don't have the same price so this is 26 this is 30 
and the same they will not have the same SKU so how to import so again you will open this one you will get your affiliate link so where it was it was here so you generate the link from your affiliate program you come back here and you paste it and then you can start importing products so I will pick just some of them I will select some option from here so I will select gallery from here so and I will select the title plus the attribute so it's the generic title plus the attribute that you see right here and you can see it here the title and I will import some of them so I'll import three maybe four of them it will take some time and we will see all the notification on the right side here so this product has many images so it may be it may take some time to, to, to import all of them we start to see that this product has been already imported so if I open if I refresh this page here normally you will have five products as you can see here that the product are displayed on this list and this is actually really good you see that the type of the product is external product you can delete the product from here you can update it from here so the update from here it will check the availability of the product and you can preview the product so I will preview the product so it's here with all the images with the description with additional information the reviews and then if I click buy the product will be redirected to Etsy expect that the user will buy the product your affiliate ID will be taken into consideration and you'll get your commission more details can be found on the website Etsy and I let you check how it works thank you for watching this video and see you on next video